Are you interested or are you committed? There's a big fucking difference. If you're merely just interested in pursuing something, you will do the work up until the point to where it's no longer convenient or it gets difficult or people aren't cheering you on and then you'll quit and you'll look for the next thing and in your mind you want something that's easier to do. And with that mindset, you will never succeed at anything you pursue. Commitment is staying true to what you said you were going to do long after the mood in which you said it has left. It's easy when everyone's cheering for you to say, you know what, guys, I'm going to do this. I'm going to build a successful business. But when it gets difficult or when you have a negative month business wise and you're not doing so well, what are you going to do then? Are you going to quit? The majority of people dabble around. They fuck around. Dip their toe in something for a couple of months. Oh, not for me. It's difficult. They go and look for the next thing. And they have that crypto gambler mindset. I just want to find something that I can just put my money into and then pray that it works out. They are escaping the work. They have a terrible work ethic. People that are committed to something have an excellent relationship with time. They know, okay, this ain't going to happen in 30 days. This may take three years until I gain some real traction. But you know what? I'm going to do whatever it fucking takes. I'm going to burn my fucking boats. Because I want to be able to say I gave it my absolute best. Most people today, the reason they have low self-esteem and they don't like themselves and they're depressed is because they know deep down inside that they just fuck around. They know they're not serious. Most men today are talkers. Very few are walkers. Very few walk the talk. That's why, you know, for example, I meet a couple of guys every now and then, they'll tell me they want to do something and I'm like, great man, good for you. Go ahead. I meet them a year later and they still haven't started. Or they did for a couple of months and then they tell me, yeah, man, you know, I tried it for a few months. And, and when I when they say I tried it for a few months, I know what that fucking means. Once a week, they opened the laptop, did a quick little play around. You know what I'm saying? If, for example, if they're talking about trading, they just fucked around for a day, you know, or if they started their online business, they may have set up a website on Wix and that's about it. But they didn't actually give it a good fucking shot. Listen, when I was in my early 20s, I would start things and never finish them. I was one of those guys. I would dabble around. I wasn't really a hard, hard worker. And I guess one of the reasons why that was the case was because I wasn't pursuing something that I had genuine interest in. And this is why I tell men, stop just chasing something just because someone else on Instagram is making a lot of money from it. Pursue something that you have a genuine interest in. Now, listen, it doesn't mean you're going to fucking love it all the time. This whole idea of follow your passion, it sounds good, but don't, that piece of advice is quite vague because in the beginning, you're going to suck at something. And when you suck at something, you're not going to fucking enjoy it. You're not going to be passionate about it. But when you get good, when you get competent, well, when you see the dollars coming in, <laughs> it's very hard not to be passionate then. Okay. So one of the reasons why I wouldn't really finish was because I was just chasing things just for the money. I wasn't doing something that I had genuine interest in. Okay, but also I had a bad relationship with time. I wanted things now, you know? I didn't have a mindset like I do now of, you know what, this is gonna take 10 years, a decade. Now when I pursue something, I have zero concerns over how quickly it's gonna materialize. I understand that success is something you attract by the person that you become. It's not something that you chase, which is why I'm not anxious, I'm not nervous. As I said in my last video, I'll have a rough idea of when I want to achieve this goal, but I don't concern myself. I don't make it be all end all. If I don't achieve it by this date, then I'm a failure. No, as long as there is steady progress and I can see that progress, I'm happy. But I show up every fucking day and I don't stress about the result. I put in the work every fucking day. Discipline, okay? Regardless of how I feel, it's got to get done. You know, there's an analogy of a magnifying glass. Imagine a hot summer's day and there's some dry leaves on the ground and you have a magnifying glass and you get the right angle so that the sun rays hit the magnifying glass and start aiming at the ground. Now, if you aim at the dry leaves long enough, if you just keep it there, something will happen. Spark, the leaves will start burning, you'll see some smoke. 
and then eventually the leaves will catch fire. Now imagine the same person holding the magnifying glass, but instead of holding it still, he's moving it around like that. The rays aren't gonna concentrate in one spot long enough to cause a reaction, to cause a spark, a flame, something. And that's the majority of men today, okay? They don't give themselves enough time to succeed. Okay, you've got, you've got to give yourself the time to win. You are not doing yourself any favors by starting something for a couple of months and then quitting, okay? If you want to respect yourself, you know, self-confidence, people talk to me about self-confidence all the time. Self-confidence comes, and this is something I learned from Ed Milet, from following through with what you said you were gonna do, okay? Because then that's how you respect yourself. You write down a goal and you can see it in your own handwriting, I want to achieve this and this, okay? And then you look back a year later and you fucking did it. That's gonna make you feel fucking amazing, euphoric. I'm the champ, I said it and I fucking did it. Mystic Mac, unlike most men today, they write down a girl, they tell their girlfriend, honey, I'm gonna start a channel on YouTube. Oh, that's amazing, honey. You've got your girlfriend gives you a kiss on the forehead. You can do this. You uploaded one video in a year. Come on, man. Are you interested or are you fucking committed? Do you really want this? Or are you just flapping your mouth like the majority of men? I was one of those people, so I'm saying this out of love to you. I want you to win. But you can't fuck around, man. Stop fucking around. Do something about it. Okay? And especially if you're a man in a relationship, lead. If you say you, your word has to mean something, if you say you're gonna do something, do it. If you want your girlfriend to respect you and not think of you as a fucking kid, a boy, who just talks about doing shit, then say it and do it, okay? If you wanna set a good example to your kids, show them that dad does, says things and does them. He's a man of his word, he doesn't just talk and talk and talk. Otherwise your words no longer have any fucking meaning to them. Oh yeah, here he comes again, Grant. Yeah, Grant's gonna just talk about it for a while. Mohammed's just gonna talk about it, but he ain't gonna do shit. That's just him. Come on, man, you don't wanna be that guy. Okay, so right now, if you've been telling everyone for a couple of months that you're gonna do something, shh, stop telling them. Show them, do something about it, okay? Hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, hit that like and subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.